I've been up and working till the morning, yeah. The yeah. They've been sleeping now, I swear they storming, yeah. They storming. yeah. And I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, like foreman. Uh, and my foreman jumping like it's Jordan on my way. Broom, broom, tell him I'm my lane, I've been praying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. gotta say this thing, I'm the same. I don't need another person telling me I can't. Whoa, all right, you guys. What's up? Welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts video. Today, we are one away from the top 10. We've done 89 videos, guys. 89. Is it 88 or 89? I think it's 89. Even though we're at number 12. We've done 81, to No, we've done 89. 89 videos. We're on our 90th video. It is DeAndre Hopkins. He's number 11 on the list. He's a wide receiver for the Texans. We just looked at uh, JJ Watt, who's another member of the Texans. Now, DeAndre Hopkins, I, I've got a little bit of a history with this guy because I did do a reaction on, on Nook. Nook? Nook? Uh, whatever you want to call him. I know that his, his nickname's Nook and it's because it is the brand name of what they call pacifiers, which we call dummies. Okay, you stick them in your kids' mouths so they don't cry. I know Nuke, I know that brand. I think my, I think, actually I think I used Nuke dummies for my own child. So, uh, I, I definitely know where the name comes from and I did an awesome reaction on him and I, I fucking loved it. I thought it went so well, it was like 25 minutes long and lo and behold, I completely lost the footage. It's gone, don't know where it is. So today, you guys out there are gonna see my first reaction on camera on my channel of DeAndre Hopkins, although I have actually seen him in the past, once, but that video never came to fruition. So, without further ado, I'm going to grab my freshly made coffee, and uh, we're going to get the screen recorder going. And I'm going to clip this one right here. And uh, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. The quicker you here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is. Oh. First of all, I know Jalen Ramsey is a hell of a corner, but one on one against Hopkins, that's tough. Nuke with a one handed grab down the side. <laughs> <laughs> I love seeing that. <laughs> Even though I love the Jaguars, and look, I do love Ramsey. I love a bit of Ramsey, but to see him to see him have a ball caught over his over his shoulder like that and to like throw his hands up in the air and get pissed off about it, it actually cracks me up. I, I can't help but laugh at that, just because he's got such a high standard of himself. But against the number 11th guy in the, in the league, you know, what are you going to do? You know what, with, with the way that Jalen Ramsey is, it, it sucks in a way because you can love him, you can love him all you like, but if he goes and does something really amazing on the field or off it, Excuse me. What the fuck? Oh my lord. There is a big split in this coffee cup. What the fuck's going on? Nick Minute. We can't be having that. Now what was I what was I saying in my coffee fueled rant? I think I was saying something like let's say, let's say Jalen Ramsey did something really feel good. You know, really feel good, either off the field or or even on the field. And I, I can't imagine Jalen Ramsey talking in an empathetic way. I can't imagine Jalen Ramsey talking in a really caring and, and um, you know, mature way. But that's going to come in time, I can guarantee it. He's young. He's really young. I can, I, I can tell you in four or five years' time, after he's achieved the things that he believes he's going to achieve. I feel like he might be a little bit more humble. But look, I don't know, man. Jalen Ramsey's a funny one. He, he's um, definitely polarizing. And he's in my favorite team. You know, so I'm going to love any play that he does. But I'd love to hear him talk with some humility. Sometimes. I know you can't have that attitude on the field. I know if you go on the field with anything less than I'm going to rip your head off, you're not going to be successful. I understand that. But there's two sides, and I'm going to shut up right now. <laughs> Let's go, DeAndre. This is, is ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's 
there's nothing else to be said. <laughs> Yo, what about this? I was like, just give him a pass, he gonna catch that ball. I knew. I was like, just throw it out, he gonna catch it. DeAndre Hopkins didn't drop a ball, right? It wasn't there some stat that he didn't drop a ball that was that touched his hands, right? So um, I, if there's anything that qualifies you as the number one guy, I think that does. Hell yeah, it does. That's an amazing stat. That really is an amazing stat. Wow. Zero drops. All right, guys, we're going to have to pump up the volume here, man. This fucking volume's pissing me off. Nice beard, bro. It's true. In 2018, DeAndre Hopkins oh. had a grand total of zero drops. How many touchdowns did he get? And 115 receptions. 100. What? Can you imagine some of the hands and defensive players that are going to be all over him? 115 receptions, no drops. What the fuck? What the hell? How is that even possible? He's got some stickum on his gloves. Catch it! This is, um, well, it's three and a half minutes, three minutes, 43 long. Uh, we've just, well, I mean, he, did, he literally didn't drop a ball. So any catch, any of his 115 catches, we probably just saw about 50 of them there. Um, don't mind what I was doing. Trust me, I'm impressed. No drop D hop. Uh, who are the top two receivers then? It's got to be A B, and it's got to be Julio Jones. Get away from him! I think I saw that run. What a run! Sick, man. That, that spin move actually reminds me a lot of Leonard Fournette's spin move. And the only reason I, th I thought of that is because I watched uh, a game of the Jags last night. I think it was against the Vikings? And he had about a hundred rushing yards, but he's he's got some nice spin moves, man. And he really he doesn't just. It's almost like he's going for a, a stutter step, but on that last right foot step, he'll he'll put the spin move. So it's like it's like a side step, but he he really puts some emphasis on making sure he spins as fast as possible, and that's exactly what I saw just there. Didn't even count. Down to Didn't count. I saw that. But it's offensive pass interference. That's the call. That was an way. He just bring you coming down. That's amazing. And they brought it underneath his leg and put it under here. Bro, it's not basketball, man. Oh my god. Oh, that's like a trick. That's like a trick catch. Guys, guys are gonna be doing trick catches soon. They're fucking gonna catch the ball in the air. 
put it through their legs and then land on the ground. Has anyone ever done that before? Catch on with a play good count. He grabbed the ball with one hand on between his legs, something like that. It was just a crazy catch. I see that whole I'm like, oh my god, y'all look brag about this catch that didn't count. It was a it was a great catch though, I can't lie about that. It was great to see. For us it counted. <laughs> yeah. Damn straight. Damn straight, man. All right, guys. DeAndre Hopkins, number 11. Wide receiver for the Texans. Let's look him up a little bit. Nickname Nuke is an American football wide receiver for the Texans. Why is he nicknamed Nuke? Let's check that out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, there's some crazy shit that happened in his, in his childhood. Um... Oh, jeez, I'm not even going to go into that, man. His mother was attacked and went completely blind as a result of the attack. His father died in a car accident when he was five months old. His uncle on his mother's side, Terry Smith, played wide receiver at Clemson and went undrafted before having a brief professional career with the Indianapolis, Indianapolis Colts. In 1997, he was shot and killed by Atlanta police after forcing his way into his estranged wife's home and stabbing her. What? Growing up... Okay, here we go. Yes. Something else. Growing up, Hopkins idolized his cousin Javis Austin, who also played for Clemson. Austin, whose brother died five years earlier during a... During a pickup basketball game... Another death? You're fucking kidding me. Attempted suicide after falling down Clemson's death chart. He attempted suicide by shooting himself in the face with a 380 caliber pistol. He survived, but the gunshot destroyed his right eye and damaged his left, effectively ending his football career. He now works as a special educator in elementary school in Clemson. Bro, I will tell you right now, I've, I've reacted to almost like 500 players. I have never read a bio as tragic as that. Never in my fucking life. Holy shit, man. He's, he's nicknamed Nook. <laughs> I have never read a story as tragic, that, as tragic as that in my entire life, guys. Okay. So some of you may know Texans wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins as the NFL's leader in targets, receptions, receiving yards, and first downs. Others know him simply as Nook. His Twitter handle, for example, is Nook De Bomb. We can talk about Hopkins' usage, usage of De Bomb later. So why Nook? Hopkins says the nickname came from his mum, who said Nook was the only brand of pacifier he would use. Good to know. And for you parents out there not using Nook pacifiers for your children, why? There is clearly a correlation between being the most productive wide receiver in football and using Nook pacifiers. <laughs> okay. Well, definitely interesting. DeAndre Hopkins. I'm not sure what to say, man. He's, he's been through a shitload of tragedy and he's come out the other side. Look, um, I just want to say if you have liked this video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe for more, please do. We're about to enter the top 10, starting with Von Miller for the Broncos. Top 10, guys. Top 10. That means 90 videos have been done. See you soon, guys.